such a pretty sunrise that's developing here. And look at all the rigs that are here. And yet there are still lots of open space. Gotta love quartzite. Hi everyone, welcome to Tigner Adventures. Uh, my name is David and my wife Ninette and our little cat Tansy. We live full time in our motor home that's back here behind me. And uh, we are currently in Quartzsite. Um, actually, we will be here all week. This is day number two of the big uh, RV show that's going on, the big white tent in Quartzsite. The main thing I wanna look at today is batteries. So I'm going to uh, go around and do some little interviews with some of the lithium uh, individuals here that are selling lithium batteries and, uh, and see kind of what their take is on lithium. Right now, I am really leaning quite heavily towards Rebel Batteries. That's rebelbatteries.com. They actually have a special going on right now where you can pre-order the next uh, batch of batteries and they won't be here till May. So I'll have to have them sent to Georgia where, where we're headed to uh, see our daughter. But other than that, they're $450 a piece and the uh, specs on them are pretty good. And so um, because of that, I'm going to, uh, I haven't placed the order yet. You have till uh, February 2nd to uh, place the uh, order. But, uh, so I haven't done it yet. I want to check with these other places, uh, you know, cause it's a big investment. Even at $450 a battery, that's a lot of money when you're buying six of them. And so we're on a fairly tight budget. And I have that, uh, I have like $3,800 now built up towards buying uh, lithium batteries. So, I mean, it is building, uh, but I don't want to spend it all if I don't have to, uh, because I also have to buy a new charger. Uh, the the uh, Victron solar controller I have will do uh, lithium, but the actual um, progressive dynamics uh, battery charger I have only does lead acid. So I have to get a new one of those. Uh, which will cost me a couple hundred dollars too. So anyway, can't spend all my money on just batteries. Need to buy the extra things. And plus, you know, you got to replace all your cables. And I'm going to be uh, doing six lithium batteries in my setup. That's 600 amp hours that I can pull at any one time. So right now I can only pull 300 amp hours total for the day. And then I need to uh, make sure I charge the batteries back up. So uh, lithium, the nice thing about lithium is that you can use a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow, a little bit until it's dead and charge it all at once. Okay, um, lead acid wants you to do, like if you use whatever day, they want you to charge that all the way back up to here uh, before you start discharging again kind of thing. It's a, it doesn't like being a little bit here and there and then there, there, until it's dead. And then dead on lead is uh, half, is 50%. So even though my batteries are rated at 720 amp hours total, the more most I'm supposed to pull off of those is 310 amp hours. So uh, with the six new lithiums, I could pull 600 amp hours and get past cloudy days a lot easier uh, when things are going on. And so, uh, you know, that's just the best way to work it. So anyway, that's what we're gonna look at today. So let's get started and let's get to the tent. Well, over the years, I have really been a proponent of lithium, of uh, Lion Energy. Uh, lithium batteries and so we're gonna uh, start our little trek today here at the uh, tent by talking to them and seeing uh, having them their engineer here kind of explain some things for me um, I did kind of just chat with him for a second he didn't want to go on video so anyway so I'm gonna sit down with him we're gonna chalk out a bunch of things on the paper and uh, we'll see if we can't figure things out and then we're gonna check out some of the other uh, uh, resellers around the tent here Okay, so I finished talking to the uh, uh, tech person for Lion Energy, and I've brought up their spec sheet here. I noticed right off they got a typo error here, but uh, anyway, um, their other literature shows the correct stuff, and I'm what I'm referring to is the battery output. Uh, he pointed out they do 150 amps continuous draw uh, with a 900 amp peak. Um, he didn't say how long you could do that 900 amp peak, and I can't imagine it being too long, but uh, 
uh, but they are saying that you can peak pretty high. So, but the, the key here is that you can do 150 amps continuous. Um, it uh, does have 3,500 plus cycles. And what they're calling their cycles is depth of charge. So that is zero to 100%. You can do that 3,500 times. And so because of that, they say they're, uh, they have a lifetime warranty. So uh, the literature says limited lifetime warranty. They're basing it on that by the time you're gonna do 3,500 charges, even if you were living in it full time, that's 3,500 days. Uh, that's a lot of uh, uh, years right there. So they're figuring 10 years uh, minimum on that. He also pointed out that they are a prismatic cell um, battery compared to pretty much everybody else is cylindrical. And what that means is that they have three uh, big cells that make up their battery. So they actually are lighter than everybody else. And the difference is too that they have, because they only have three batteries, they only have three connection points and they have a heavier bus bar compared to the cylindricals are just little cells all connected together with a, um, a lot thinner uh, piece of metal. And, and that means that all those are different connection points. So a lot more uh, options for uh, things to go wrong uh, because there's more connection points. And then of course, um, their charge capacity is another thing that we wanna look at because uh, different batteries I've looked at um, just online is like Renogy and things like that have a maximum charge capacity of 50 amps. Uh, well, that's going to take you a long time, especially if you had 16 batteries to charge those batteries up. These have a 100 amp uh, maximum charge capacity. And then here shows the actual weight. Their, their batteries only weigh 23 pounds and the um, length dimension is 10.2 where currently my lead acid batteries are 11.2. So uh, these will actually fit into my compartment really easily. And then the last thing he talked about was the battery management system they use, which is BMS for short. And um, theirs is engineered and built in-house to their specs, where a lot of people just use the uh, a generic one and then just modify it accordingly to try to make it work with their batteries. And right now they have uh, brand new batteries for $800 a piece and they have refurbished batteries for $700 a piece. That's their show price. Okay, so we are going to be talking to uh, Lifeline um, and check out their batteries. So this is our next stop. So the specs on this battery are listed at um, uh, they're a 100 amp hour battery and if you go down the page just a little bit here their weight's 26 pounds and their length is 12 um, inches so uh, just a, a little bigger than the other ones and then down just a little bit further this i don't quite understand this recommended charge current is only 20 amps uh, you can go up to a maximum of 100 but can you imagine trying to charge your batteries back up you know if you had 16 of these at uh, 20 amps an hour uh, it would take forever <laughs> so i don't i don't understand that that particular setup right there so uh, but the maximum continuous discharge is 100 amps and you can peak out at 200 for three seconds so you know not quite as robust as um, the lion energy one and so this Based on that, you know, this really isn't very much of a competitor here. And the battery is $750. So, um, you know, it's really not a competitor in that category at all. All right, so we are stopping here at uh, Anti-Gravity Batteries, a new lithium seller out here. So this is, uh, we're gonna talk to them and see what they have to offer in this line and how theirs actually work out. Okay, and then here's uh, the Anti-Gravity Battery uh, uh, recommendation. So it is um, contiguous charge rate is 20 to 60 amps. Uh, you cannot exceed 80 amps. And then the continuous discharge is 100 continuous. Um, you can go up to 150 amps for one to two minutes, uh, 350 for four seconds. 20 to 60 amps, again, is really gonna be tough on uh, trying to get your batteries charged up again. And the 100 amps uh, for a continuous charge, uh, discharge. So, 
anyway and they also are $750 so just a little bit higher price too so then to uh, you know kind of finish things off here uh, Battleborn is not at the tent this year I have no idea why but um, I just want to bring up their specs because they're kind of like the elephant in the room kind of a thing you know everyone just talks about Battleborn like they're the best thing around and so I just want to you know bring that up to you know so that you can compare apples to apples if you um, you know want to in that particular situation so uh, when it comes to the actual specs it's a 100 amp hour battery and you can have up to 3,000 to 5,000 cycles. Uh, their dimensions are quite a bit larger than um, the uh, Lion Energy because they're almost 13 inches, which is kind of wide because my compartment uh, overall width is only 21 inches. So um, it makes it a little tough to get these batteries in there. Um, and then the other thing is these are 31 pounds. So that is what, man, that's eight pounds heavier than um, the Lion Energy ones. So that's kind of interesting. Um, also, they have a 100 amp continuous uh, discharge and a 200 amp surge for 30 seconds and half a second surge for loads over 200 amps. So um, if you want to compare in that sense Lion to Battleborn, if you have a 150 continuous amps, uh, the Lion Energy actually comes out to be a, a little bit better of a battery in that sense, and the price is a lot better. Um, Battleborn continues to keep their prices very high, and so that's why I've kind of been a, more of a proponent of Lion than Battleborn all along, was because they're just, I, I just don't think it really compares in that sense. So, and their batteries are also the um, cylindrical style. So. Uh, Battleborn is cylindrical, so it has all these little ones in there. So also, um, you know, there's just places that you can have issues. But they do have a, a 10 to 15-year um, warranty on the batteries. So, uh, you know, they're they're kind of stating the same thing. If you can get 3,000 to 5,000 cycles, and so that's basically 3,000 to 5,000 days, you know. And it really depends on your um, depth of discharge on that, which... Everyone is saying zero to 100, you know, going zero to 100, zero to 100 um, would be your depth of discharge. But really to get more, if you don't go that full depth, then, you know, you can get a lot more cycles than what the battery is actually rated at. So the last battery I want to show you the specs on, they're not at the show either, but is the Rebel battery. I was actually looking at them because the price point was... Um, if you ordered it, uh, pre-ordered it, you could get it for as low as $450 uh, plus tax and everything. So uh, around $500. Um, the uh, specs here are 100 amps uh, for a uh, you know uh, max discharge current. And the max charging current is 100 amps. So that was pretty good. But one of the things that really was tough with this battery is that it's 13 inches wide. And if you remember, my compartment's just over 20 inches, so I was going to have to, you know, change the orientation of the batteries um, and try to make them fit. And the height was a little bit of an issue. I'd have to kind of change the brackets on my door to make them work. So uh, that was a little bit of a of an issue there. And then um, also, if you look at um, the cycles here, they're really only guaranteed for about five years. Uh, they're saying up to 10 years, but they're only a little over 2,500 cycles. But the way I kind of looked at things was that, you know, if I'm going to pay half of what everybody else is charging um, and they only last five years, that's fine because who knows what's going to change in five years. But, uh, you know, after talking to Lion Energy and kind of seeing where things are going, you know, I'm not as concerned about that anymore. All right, so we are at the Continuous Power booth. Uh, they also sell Lion Energy batteries. This is where I actually bought my inverter, was uh, from Matt here, uh, back when they were just first starting out. And so uh, they've uh, grown quite a bit. They carry a lot of different products now. So um, I've always been a proponent and he's been so, I mean, I sent a message off when I first bought my uh, inverter to him and he replied right away. And he happened to be the, uh, the president of the company and so uh, I thought that was pretty nice. And he's just out here directly selling and 
and uh, meeting people and talking to them and everything. So um, they have a, a pretty good uh, price on the Lion Energy here. So um, you know it's a uh, six fifty at this booth. So but it's directly from Lion Energy anyway with the same exact warranties. The difference is that it's through continuous power instead of calling Lion Energy direct. So this doesn't have anything to do with lithium batteries. But hey, I just wanted to show you this because now if we get lithium, we could actually get one of these cool neon signs that they have in this booth. And it's a pretty cool booth looking there. So I don't know what the prices are yet, but uh, it's pretty cool looking. All right, well, we have uh, finished our little excursion of the tent today, uh, checking out uh, lithium batteries. Um, so I think what we finally decided is after, especially sitting down with the uh, Lion Energy um, tech there, that we are going to go ahead and pick up some Lion Energy batteries instead. And uh, it's just because of the way that they're put together. Uh, compared to some of these others and the fact that they have they they call it a lifetime uh, warranty um, on it uh, it's actually 3500 cycles that you can go clear down to zero and back up to 135 times which is better than anybody else out there so anyway for the extra couple hundred bucks you know we're going to be out the door 650 per battery the other ones were 450 plus tax so it was closer to 500 so about 150 dollars more and they were only guaranteed five years. These are guaranteed for 10. So I think overall, this is gonna be a better, uh, better setup for us. They're also about four pounds lighter. And also the battery dynamics, they're actually um, the same size as my Trojan batteries right now. So those just, it'll be plug and play, just pop them in and out. Other than changing out the wiring and also um, changing out the uh, battery charger. But as far as getting them into the compartment, it'll fit in there exactly the same way that my other batteries are right now. So that'll be nice where the other ones are, they're like an inch and a half longer. And so I was gonna have to change the orientation of the batteries a little bit. And I was kind of really struggling with that whole dynamics of trying to get them in there. So um, I was gonna have to change the compartment a little bit. So at least this way, I don't have to worry about that. So I think this will be better. So I think that's it for today as far as um, lithium batteries go. So thanks for uh, watching. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and end the video at this point. And then tomorrow uh, we'll go uh, find out something else to, to check into. Um, and I think we're gonna be looking at hitches and stuff a little closer. So anyway, so I will um, just say goodbye at this point. Uh, hope to see you down the road, maybe around here in Quartzsite somewhere. Remember, you can reach out to us. Um, if not, just take care.